I got a bit. I was pretty impressed by the loader. It was amazing. I mean, I would, I would just really want to see how much, it, how long it takes it for one to take him down. You know, we've seen the brute strength of the bloater, we've seen its physique, we've seen holes of infected, and then we've seen just one how terrifying it is and how what strength it has, like how he ripped Perry's head off clean off. That was insane, absolutely insane. And I just really like how they interpreted the death version of Sam. You know, it just it made him a, a lot younger, like eight years old. I mean, Jesus Christ, eight years old. Only eight years old. He's just a kid, man. I'm glad that was the end of that resistance leader. Oh, the hell she was. It wasn't. If it was me, I wouldn't let the kid die. And I just really like how they interpreted the relationship between Ellie and Sam. You know, even if he was deaf, it was amazing. Now, and I see the interpretation of Savage Starlight into the book, into the game, into the show, from the game into the show. You know. Sucks how they didn't the blood didn't work. I mean that would have been cool if the blood actually if Ellie's blood actually did cure Sam. And it'd be amazing too. That'd be just so cool, but I mean that's the woman said in episode two. There is no cure, no vaccine, even if someone with immune go out, yes. So it's really it's also really impossible. I mean, multiple game theories and game logic literally point this out. So I guess they interpret it in the show. No matter what they do. Anyways, you know what you I hope you guys in as much as always, the link is in the description below. The reaction is in the description below. So, peace out, everyone.